can't sleep. I see them everywhere. Wherever I go, I go crazy, dog. Help me. So what are the things you see? Yeah, get him, man. Get him, bro. Get him. Where are we? I don't know. <laughs> I'm your friend's worst nightmare. I'm Armstrong. So, Lance? No. Nope. Neil? <laughs> Definitely not Neil. Then I'm William Armstrong. You mean Armstrong's ex? Who? Armstrong. What do you want from me? I keep looking at the symbols. A reminds B, B reminds C, A reminds C. I look at these everywhere. Hmm. This is one of my exits. Really? So you keep seeing them everywhere? Yeah, everywhere, wherever I go. Mm. I think you need a revision. You need your exits. Well, those are mechanical way. It's a mechanical way to find out if a functional dependency is in F closure or not. So if you have many functional dependencies, you know. So how do you find if a functional dependency is in F closure or not? So you apply my exits and you can find it. That's it. That's why you use my exits. So these are my three exits. Reflexivity, transitivity, and augmentation. Now let's look at reflexivity first. Let's take a look at the first axiom. This is reflexivity. In reflexivity, 
uh, attribute function determines itself. So if we have AB as subset of ABC, then by reflexivity property, we have ABC function determines AB. Now as you can see, this is a list of all the axioms or all the reflexivity properties in my first axiom. Now moving on to the second one, there's augmentation. In augmentation, if we have A function determines B, so what we can do is, we can add A to both sides. So by property of augmentation, we have A in the left hand side and again AB at the right hand side. In the same way, we can add B to the left hand side and B to the right hand side. In this way, the augmentation works where we can add attribute, a same attribute on both hand side or both sides of LHS and RHS. Now let's see the transitivity property. If we have A function determines B and B function determines C, then by my property of transitivity, we have A function determines C. Now this is my third and last axiom. And as you can see, that's a list of examples for the transitivity property. So, do you know my axioms are sound and complete? No. Well, they're sound. That means nothing can be derived outside the boundary of enclosure. You understood my axioms. Yeah. What's that noise? Oh, it's time for us to go. Get up, come on, let's go. He's not coming. You have to go. Move, run, go. What's this talk? 